All right, here we go again. <clears throat> if you are new to the channel, three simple rules. No blah blah intro, no pausing, and some yada yada at the end. That's it. One quick note about today's episode. Man Moth doesn't have this episode on his playlist for some reason. Maybe it got t taken down because of copyright or something. So I found uh, an alternative source. Credit to this one goes to Salty Steve, which presumably is not the actual Steve. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Back to form there, Oasis, and little by little, this is XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, who are you? Uh, my name's Steve Merchant, good to see you. Thanks. Uh, with us, uh, the producer in the studio is a Carl Pilton, and he'll be doing the buttons. <laughs> yeah. You made a good effort there, but uh, <laughs> once again, you <laughs> got bored. Words are your enemy, Rick, <laughs> and they defeated you once again. <laughs> Yes, run right out of steam oh, with the sentences. Every week I think, well, I'm really going to make an effort yeah. now. I'm gonna, I've, I've <laughs> chosen some records. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's as far yeah. as it goes, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should write out what you're going to say at the top of the show. <laughs> write that out. Get a nice no, big be, crayon. I like to keep a little bit of, you know... A little bit of something, a little bit of spark, yeah. a little bit of liveliness to it. Yeah, sure. yeah. Sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. How yeah. are you? Good to, good to good, see you. Yeah, it's great. It's great to... Uh, <laughs> it's uh, great to be out, be. <laughs> out of the house again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, just, um, I was going to say, because we've been doing this uh, for a long time now with a little break, um, but XFM are bringing new listeners all the time. I've heard four or five a week. Really? Yeah. New wow, listeners tune in like. to XFM one hundred four point nine. Beware! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, we might take it for granted the people that know who we are, know who you are, know who Carl is. Sure. Um, oh, now yes, if, if if you you know if you're a regular, then you know exactly who we are. But um, for those of you who don't, uh, I say I'm, I'm Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais, a BAFTA award-winning actor and, yeah, uh, yeah. and writer. Steve Merchant, um, all, all those. A friend of yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and. This is the important thing. Carl Pilkington. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, produ I say producer, he was the bloke who was lumbered with a job. When I said, listen, I see I used to run the desk in the old days. When I, was like, I used to press the buttons and run the desk and everything. And now I said, listen, I've been on the telly. I do not press my own buttons. <laughs> and Carl said, well, I don't really work weekends. And they went, well, you do if you want to keep your job. Absolutely. And we were oh. lumbered with him. And then we discovered that he's not just a, a little, like a little dork, a little manky sort of idiot, sure, he's sure. got, <laughs> he's got nice shirt, he's got, you know what I mean, he's got something else, Absolutely. he's got a he certain, another dimension, yeah, yeah, and uh, he, he started having a little chat and we discovered that he had him. quite a lot to say. Mm. Well, I, I think you're right, and I think, um, I was wondering, maybe we, we should maybe play another tune, but after that, I just think we should re-familiarise our radio audience with yeah. Carl, and any new listeners, just get, let, you know, somehow kind of let them get to know the real Carl again. Well, if you are new, mm. you'll, you'll find that we like some uh, old songs, some new songs, some mm -hmm. chit chat uh, we get serious sometimes, there's oh, some yeah. tears and some laughter. Yeah. We kicked off with Oasis' new one, Little by Little. We're gonna go <laughs> back in time now to Iggy Pop and his Stooges with I'm Bored. Yeah. Iggy Pop, on board, on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Steve Merchant here as well. Yeah, little Carl Pilkington. Mm. Well, to reintroduce or introduce people for the first time to Carl, um, I think we should have a... Yeah, maybe sort of a kind of a quick Q and A, Carl, and we don't need sort of lengthy answers from you. We don't need lots of detail. Um, right. You know, it can be uh, just a couple of sentences. Just to get to a answer each question. Who you are. Yeah. So, like, firstly, uh, name obviously Carl Pilkington. Age, Carl? Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be thirty next month. Really? This month? No, next. What, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need to ask any more questions. <laughs> That's oh, it. Yes, We've Welcome it to the world of Carl <laughs> Pilkington. <laughs> I thought it would take uh, three or four I questions thought it was be at least, to really yeah. explain that, that, that was the first one. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 absolutely God. incredible. But, well, um, but you oh, know, like, we can't really leave it there because um, no, we, uh, we haven't uh, got enough else to do <laughs> to fill yeah. up two hours. So um, no. let's, let's pursue this line of inquiry. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, um, age, what was the age, Carl? In a couple <laughs> of when were you born? I'll be uh, 72. Right, what month, what day? I'm on the cusp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're the cusp of the day. Well, um, 23rd of September. <laughs> okay. 72. So anyway, okay, right, good. And uh, you were talking there about, um, obviously a star sign where you're on the cusp. Yeah. Uh, you believe in that, do you? No. Nope. You don't believe in star signs? No, not really. But you do believe in ghosts, ghosts. I understand. No, yeah. it's just paranormal. Yeah, but the star Ten. sign thing, you've got how many, how many different star signs are they? Twelve, innit? Right, and then you've got, like, loads of people. Yeah. So you do the math. So they're saying that, you know, there's only 12 different sorts of people in the world. Exactly. That's yes. exactly right. It's it's made up. It's made up nonsense. It's non-science. It's pseudoscience. It's, yes. Yeah. It's, so it's, 
It's it's hairy man and um, dyed hair woman science. Yes, isn't it? All right. Yeah. Anyway, back to uh, you, Carl. Where were you born? In uh, in Manchester. Okay. What uh, GCSE results did you get? <coughs> I got. Uh, was that an E? I got an E you in got history. Got an E in history. And how, how did, did you, you find out that, that information? You found out. Because you thought you you didn't you mm. couldn't remember what you got. You didn't turn up, and you thought you'd done about three, one of which I, wasn't history. And I, actually, I knew I did art. Yeah, you didn't. I'm telling you, you didn't because we checked. Yeah. You did one. <laughs> you turned up for history. You did history. You got an no, E in history. I definitely did art. I made well, a little clay man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to register for O levels. You yeah. don't just do it and then phone up and say, "How was that?" Yeah. And they go, well, I'm sending don't. you a clay man. <laughs> <what you> <laughs> yeah, Send me yeah. a grade. Yeah, there's all things. There's forms to fill out and yeah. things like that, Carl. Anyway, yeah, go anyway, on. Um, who was your closest childhood friend? Closest? At what age? Well, when you were young, when you were. Oh, a I remember this. It's a fella. Um, yeah. so, there's, is there's, it someone making, isn't there's, it? There's, well, he wasn't really a close mate. Darren Buckley was me. Darren Buckley? Ooh. Yeah. He, he was my Tell us briefly mate. about Darren. I've forgotten about Darren. He's the one who, um, all the, all the girls liked him. He Did had, they? Uh, he had permed hair. He used to <laughs> have his hair like a footballer. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. Were you jealous of him? His were you dad was a copper. Did you hang around with Darren, like, in the hope of getting maybe his kind of cast-offs? Nah. I, I, it's, it's weird with me, and I, I, I wasn't that bothered about Having loads of mates and that, I sort of. Sure. I had lots of mates, but I could do without them. You had a magpie, yeah. didn't you? I was, happy, didn't you? I was happy playing with my magpie. Yeah. What happened to him? It uh, flew away. Yeah. But I wasn't bothered because it was giving me grief towards the end, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> it was popping me my grifter tires and that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, <laughs> flying down, pecking me head. Sure. Now you went to school with a number of different interesting people, uh, some of whom two were of which, freaks. I understand uh, had big heads <laughs> and heads. webbed toes. Is that right? Yeah, they were not related to each other, and they weren't friends with each other. Why weren't they friends with each other? <laughs> because that'd be obvious. <laughs> <laughs> did they did they wear shoes, or did they walk around in their <laughs> in their web? Uh, were they good feet? at swimming? Were they good at swimming? Uh, I don't know. I don't think they ever ever went swimming. Did they ever talk? Did they, did they ever look over at each other and think? Yeah, we that. should hang out more. <laughs> <laughs> I told you uh, yeah. something in the week as well. There was another cool. lad at school had a pigeon chest. <laughs> he had a what? Can we come chest? back to this? He had a pigeon I chest. I think we should play a record, Carl, because <laughs> we I think we've hooked to them now. Yeah. I think yeah. I there's think... no one switching off now, Rick. No, yeah. play a record. <laughs> <laughs> pigeon chest. Blair, coffee and TV. <sighs> Carl uh, I said it's not the best Blair song when, when it was playing. You know, I'm not don't wanna diss it, but you know, it's not the best one. I mean that's Absolutely that's not. fact. Sure. You know. Yeah. Carl went like the video though, a little milk carton. Yeah. Bit sad. It's tragic, isn't it? <laughs> he went. In the, this is all to himself. I'm not even joining in. And then he went. Yeah, but it's all right at the end. He goes to heaven. He finds a little girl milk carton. Just lives out a little thing. And is is that like you on your paper round that little milk carton walking around like that? I imagine you. Oh, people don't know about. It. If you just tuned in, Carl had a paper round. It's his favourite job ever. And he maintains it's the best job he's ever had. And it, <laughs> Carl. Go on. I don't know what's so weird about that. It's a paper round. Yeah, but look. look Forget it's not all the most that. fulfilling. Of look jobs. at look at the way it works, right? You you get it out of the way at the start of the day, so you got the rest of the day to yourself. Sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just it's the same as signing on. Your own your own boss. You know. Same as signing on. Well, you're not your own boss. The guy, yeah. the news agent's your <laughs> boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that doesn't pay much. That's you, great. You, you you've proven me wrong there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, not really. Would that stand up in court? Well, you were found with the dagger. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> was I? <laughs> okay, what, when are we? Uh, when are we playing a new game? Oh, Carl's got a new game. Carl's oh, very excited. Oh, just, just, we were just talking about something before. Yeah, the, right, the freaks used to go. You, you had uh, people with big heads, two web feet, didn't hang around each other. That would be too obvious. Um, you had a fellow with a pigeon chest. Mm. Yeah, what's the story with the pigeon chest? <laughs> Don't know how it happened. <laughs> it was like it, it looked like somebody had sort of hit him on the back with a big hammer, <laughs> and it had come out of the front. Yeah. Oh. And I've never seen it since. Could that have been the answer? What? Why? Is, why yeah, he had it? Why had it? Possibly, I suppose, in your neck of the woods. Yeah, don't know. Never asked him. It's just come back to haunt you, has it? The pigeon chest. No, it's just that uh, you know when you when you mentioned about kids at school, I forgot all about him. Mm. You're talking about the kids with the web feet and the big heads. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I forgot about the little old uh, the pigeon, chest, pigeon boy. Yeah, pigeon boy. Yeah. Well, listen, I, I, are you, I, I'm a big fan of that TV show. It's on digital TV. A lot of people won't have it. But uh, Inside the Actors Studio with James yeah. Lipton. Yeah. And he's, he interviews lots of big Hollywood stars. And he always asks them these same questions at the end. Can I just run a few of them past you? Go on. 
Okay. So, um, if you could do any other profession other than the one you do now, what profession would you do? Uh, uh, can you just change that to apart from a paper round? Apart from a paper round. Oh, you could do any other okay. profession, Carl. Um, and it doesn't matter about, like... It doesn't matter if you've got the skills or anything, I in an ideal world, if you had the ability. Well, I, I think I'm about to buy somewhere, so I reckon something, you know, using, using tools and, like, doing a bit of plumbing and that. So, a plumber? Well, sort of an all-rounder. Right, right. A, a handy handyman. A handyman. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. you know, you don't get paid that much, but it's useful, isn't it? So... But you'd useful. get your own show, couldn't you, with Carol Smiley, eventually? Well, well, all that, but the money that you don't make, you save by not having to pay someone else to do the chores, do Right, you know okay. I, mean? I, I don't know what that sentence meant. <laughs> right, right. No. A plumber, how much, how much is the average plumber on? The money you don't make, <laughs> you save, on not getting someone else to do it. <laughs> no, just think of that. No, look, break that sentence down. Are there any... Sorry, uh, Rick, sorry, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. people who live in glass houses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway, let's just go back to Lipton quickly. We've got a couple to get through here. So, so yeah, um, your, 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 your favourite noise or sound? Uh Favourite sound or noise? Ooh. Is it me? No. <laughs> it's not no. me. Hang on a minute. It's not me. <laughs> Are you sure it's not me, Carl? Yeah, right, it's right, Elvis. noise. Elvis. Oh, Elvis. In the, in the ghetto. The, the sound of Elvis. A Elvis in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And your least favourite noise or sound. I, I don't think it should really be records and music. Noises. Things that you hear uh, at home or whatever. Maybe like a sound of a... The least favourite noise. Least favourite. The sound of... Probably like uh, Sound of ghosts. Fire engines and that. <laughs> right. That's, that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Except if your house was on fire, presumably. <laughs> I think it's a bit unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> you think oh. they're just doing it to wind people up? I live on, like, a busy street and it's happening all the time and it's, mm. it is, like, just sort of have a blast of it and people will hear it. You sure. don't have to keep it going. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, yeah. sure. So that, that is, yeah, okay. pretty annoying. And, um, uh, if heaven exists, Carl, when you get to the pearly gates, what would you like God to say to you as he welcomes you into heaven? What would you like God to say to you? Uh, who asks these? What, what shows this? It's a programme where um, celebrities are interviewed by a guy, uh, an American interviewer, <laughs> and he always asks these questions at the very end. What would I say to God? What no, would you say what, to God? What, what, when, if, if you believed in heaven, and if heaven exists, when you eventually go up to heaven and you're welcomed in through uh, the gates in by your God... Parker what, in your stussy T-shirt and yeah. your... What do you want God to say to you as he welcomes you in? I'd say, uh, you alright? Uh... <laughs> you know, just, be, right? just be friendly. It's <laughs> 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 the reindeer section. Beautiful. Yeah, nice stuff. Um, it's a kind of Scottish supergroup. Lots of different artists from uh, Scottish Sebastian, bands. Ben Sebastian. Ben Sebastian. Is it a singer uh, from them? Uh, it may well be, yeah, on that particular track. There's different people. Mull Historical Society, Idlewild, Teenage Fan Club, different people from all those bands. Get together with a guy called Sir Gary Lightbody from Snow Patrol and he uh, writes And all tunes. that on XFM 104.9, Steve. Absolutely. Uh, let me just name that track. That track was Grand Parade from their current album, uh, Son of Evil Reindeer. <laughs> Feeder. Come back around on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Uh, but who are you? <laughs> oh, thanks for asking, Rick. Steve Merchant. Uh, with us, Carl Pilberton. Well, Carl, um, now I know I shouldn't, uh, but I met Carl in the week again. I, I told you you shouldn't do I this. I know. You know you but then when he starts, he starts saying things like, oh, is this loud with the people? I go, no, save it, save it. And we just sit there and I'm scared to talk in case he comes up. But um, you did tell me a couple of little things, didn't you? True stories that, you know, that, that I mean, I enjoy. Can you tell um, Steve one about the doctor? Right. Oh, God. Um... What's... What, what, is this something that happened to a friend of yours, or is this, uh... No, no, I read about it. You read about it? Okay. Um... There's this little lad. Right? <laughs> little lad? Okay. First of all, it's, it's years ago, right? When right, they didn't have times. They didn't have decent doctors in, like, every town and that. Yeah. And, uh, this little kid is dead ill, right? Yeah. yeah. And the local doctor... <laughs> Well, there's a phone call involved, so I don't yeah, really well, get the impression it. that it's like medieval, medieval times. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. But, but I, I didn't say that, I just said it's years ago. Go on so on. this kid's ill, right? Yeah. And he's, uh, he's lying in the bed, and uh, he's, mm. he's all like, all going funny colour and that. Yeah. And, uh, and his mum says, I'm going to get the local doctor around. The local doctor comes round, and uh, he says, Oh, so I don't know, don't know what's up with him. He said, um, so leave it with me. <laughs> leave it. Leave it. With me. Said, uh, I'll have a yeah. He said I'll um, I'll, I'll phone up uh, a top doctor okay. who was in America or somewhere like that. Yeah. And uh, so he goes to the phone, 
in his office and he calls America and because it's years ago the phone line isn't that good, it's all crackly and that, right? Mm. Yeah. So he's talking to the doctor and he's saying, I've got this kid, he's a funny colour and, uh, you know, he's really weak and that. I don't yeah. know he's not him. giving him much to go on. <laughs> right? Sure. So, uh, so the American doctor, right, yeah. he goes, yeah, what you want to do? And it's all breaking up, right? Yeah. He goes, what you got to do? you got to, uh it's all breaking up. Uh, You've got to give him some, uh parrot's blood, right? Some parrot's blood? Well, that's what he thought he said, but the line was really bad. Yeah. He meant parent's blood, but he, he heard that he said parrot's blood. He oh said, right, I'll, 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 I'll do that, leave I, it with I me. I can see where this is going. He goes, he goes to, uh you know, a pet shop. Yeah. <laughs> he says, give us, like, half a dozen parrots. Sure. Takes them round to the kid's house. Takes the blood from the parrots, puts it into the kid. Kid's fine. The kid's fine. <laughs> I've never. It, it worked. <laughs> it's such a load of shite <laughs> in my life. I've never. <laughs> such twaddle. <laughs> such just made up, enhanced, yeah, exaggerated. Bollock in my life. A load of old rubbish. I mean, when he told me this, he said, the doctor said, what do I do? And the doctor on the other end said, give him some blood. And the doctor went, where do I get blood from? (laughs) (laughs) So hang on, wait, I just need to... to Where do I get blood from? From his... Give him some parents' blood. Give him some parents' blood. (laughs) Give him some parents' some some parents' blood. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I... Oh, hang on, I just need to know where you Sorry, read this. Carl. Where was this? Where did I you read stitched this? you up. You know when he said, he said, so do you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. He went, do you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. <laughs> Carl, where did you read it? That, that was on the internet. <laughs> what, where about is illnesses. it on the internet? Where, I'm what, always what looking at stuff. I was looking at stuff this morning because of, um, because <laughs> of Yora Geller last night. <laughs> eating, uh, eating all that funny food and that. And also, uh, they all got a bit scared last night, didn't they, with a, with a snake. I didn't see that. Is this, um, I'm a celebrity getting me out of yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. He got all worried about a snake getting on the, uh, sort of wandering about in between the sleeping bags and stuff. Yeah. And, um, they were all scared, and it is so Leave easy. it with me. Sorry, the doctor says, leave it with me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, leave it with me. Well, they were all scared because there's a snake, and it's so easy to find stuff out. Before they, before they, where are they? Where is this jungle? <laughs> Australia, right. I think. Before they went, Give it half an hour on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I found out with snakes, you don't need to worry, okay. right? Um, they're deaf, they haven't got any ears. Right. So as long as you, you're really quiet, Creep it'll, around, it'll yeah. probably leave you alone. Yep. And also, they don't have eyelids. Uh-huh. Um, so they were suggesting if one's coming towards you, just, like, kick sand in its eyes. Because <laughs> yeah. it can't blink and it leaves it a bit, like, annoyed yeah. and it wanders off. But they didn't do any research before they went. Yeah. And that's, that's, you're, you're, I think your knowledge would hold you in good stead. I don't think you need to know any more than you know. Um, well, we're going to come back to that, because he also explained to me where um, uh, a saying comes from that I want to, you to be part of. But, um, oh, and also, you should mention as well, Carl, you've come up with a, a competition, is this right? Brilliant competition. You, have you, have he, you thinks this, this up? he thinks oh. this can go to television. Is this a good idea you've come up with? Yeah. Carl, I'm so looking forward to so, it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, continuing uh, <laughs> our exposure of myths... And, and Legends of Rockful Tale, we exposed that myth that some maybe older rockers have, have had it and they've got no... They, they were never any good and the yeah. kids today... Oh, I don't want to hear that. Ex- people like Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart's a great artist. This, uh... He's a slightly laughable man, but a great artist. Let's go back to when it was... when he was rocking. When he cut the mustard? Yeah. <laughs> Rod Stewart, you wear it well. Great tune. On XFM 104.9. Yeah. This doctor, I mean, we <laughs> should find out who he is, really, and if he's still <laughs> practising, because it, it worries me a little bit that, he, you know, mm. he did that. Also, I mean, he thinks he's got away with it, but how could he be sure those parrots wouldn't talk? True. True. Do you know yeah, what I mean? There yeah, were six yeah. of them. They probably got together and they, pro- they probably put it on the internet. I mean, it, I, I feel that that story, Carl, <laughs> it, it asks more questions than it answers. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's like most of your stories. Yeah, that's the to problem. Be, yeah, I, always feel them, I always feel like I need a little bit more information. Like, yeah. did the parrot boy continue to live? <laughs> yeah. You know, to a ripe old age? Or did he yeah. die weeks later after this charlatan doctor who was yeah. going around, you know, spurious and Did he break right. his nose trying to crack a big nut? Mm. No, I, th- mm. I think he's, uh, he was all right. He, he lived to a... See, uh, I'd have shouted, if I was that doctor, I'd have shouted, Back down the phone. Are you sure you said parrot's blood? Yeah. You Parrot- sure it was parrot's no, blood? Listen, I, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not the best doctor in the world, but uh, d- did you say parrot's 
blood. <laughs> yeah, but what you're forgetting is you're going back to the time where, like, they used leeches to do, like... No, 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 we're going back to the late 70s if there's a phone call to America <laughs> yeah. direct. Come on, Carl, they weren't calling America, like, in the medieval times or, or in the Victorian <laughs> age. Come on, think about it, Carl. Yeah. You know, it's, this has got to be like the, the like you know, thirties or forties, <laughs> the earliest. <laughs> you know, <All> right. <laughs> I'm intrigued to know where this. I think there's someone on the on the web who's just putting information on there to lead you astray. Yeah, because you're the only person who finds this stuff. Other people are using this to write what were you, thesis. What were you looking at that then? What were you? What were you looking? Always, I always look at weird stuff. What were you yeah. looking for? But what do you type in the search engine to find what parrot blood stories? What were you looking for? There was this woman with a weird head. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you looking for that? What were you Just doing? I, I'd heard about it. I'd heard like oh. someone talking about it on another station. Right? right. About this woman with a with a funny head. Right. <laughs> I love the fact I love the fact you're intrigued with these things. You go in the basement of Waterstones or Dylan's or somewhere and there's these there's these medical books that you're loving, mate. Yeah, but this is free on the internet, isn't it? It's all yeah. there. Yeah. So what do you typed in? Weird head woman or? <laughs> <laughs> Lady with head. <laughs> yeah. Weird, weird, weird people or something I put in. Sure. Yeah. Did, you, did you come up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seven thousand hits, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all there, isn't it? It's interesting. The one that I was telling you before about um, the what's the name? The the lost letter. The lost letter. What's the lost this? Uh, lost postcard that's uh, just turned up. Some yeah. woman uh, sent a postcard years and years ago to to a niece or something, right? Yeah. And, and her niece was like three years old sure. back then. And just now, like I think, like yesterday or the day before, it turned up. The postcard turned up seventy four years late. Seventy four years late. It took seventy four years. And that three year old girl's been living in the same house that whole time. <laughs> Well, that, yeah. Sure. It's not weird you see about what that. I mean? There's always a question you can ask <laughs> to just scratch the credibility of these stories. Yeah. There's always. It's like the apocryphal town. Was this the is slugs? It, was this those slugs from last week? Yeah, well, they're they holding back because they're slow. Because the postman slug is useless. His round takes him 74 years. Then he's got to go back to the beginning. He's got 74 years, and they can't carry the bag. But that's why they go. That's why they turn to glue. That's why they turn to glue. Oh. It's pitiful. It is pitiful. So, so you don't believe that someone sent a postcard years ago <gasps> and somehow it's been stuck in the bottom of a post bag or something and it's only just... Stuck in the bottom of a post bag? Yeah. That means that there's like an, a 95-year-old postman who's still yeah. wandering around. Did, 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 you, did you have to pay, like, the, the difference and the charges? Because mm. uh, presumably... The, it, it, was a, it wouldn't have had Queen Elizabeth's... Uh, it was, it was a penny on, black, it? presumably, was it? Yeah. <laughs> what would be on the stamp? It would have been invalid, surely. <laughs> <laughs> See, these are the what. questions no, you should no, no, ask no, no, yourself. Because no. if on. it's the postman's fault, the post the postman. office can't turn Who was out. He at the time himself, wasn't he? He was dead. No, he is dead. Yeah, he'll yeah. be well and truly dead now. Yeah. But the fact is that the post office made an error, yeah. right? They lost this letter. Sure. Mm. It's only just turned up. They can't turn around and say, sorry about this. I hope it isn't urgent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's turned up 74 <laughs> years late, and by the way, you owe us 25 pence. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't do that. Really. Yeah, that's so, true, that's true. So that's true. You you're asking questions, AC. That's, that's <laughs> true, you see. So, t um, you, you're interested in that where sayings come from as well, aren't you? Because yeah. you, you told me one of the week, what that, I don't know if Steve's aware of that. Do you want to tell Steve this one? What's this a saying? Can we do this quiz? D Let's do, do this We'll first. do the quiz later. I know you're excited about the quiz. Let's do that later, but what's this saying? Right. Uh, what is the saying? Chucking a baby out with the bathwater? Yeah. Have you, know you that? Heard that, have you heard that phrase? Uh, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. Wh wh how would you use that? Well, um, how would I use that? Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I suppose if you've, maybe you've been discussing something, you've come up with some plans, but you're slightly worried and, um, you know, you might abandon the whole plan, whereas there might be some ideas in there which are still worth retaining. Exactly. So you don't want to ba throw the baby out with the, the bathwater. Bath there might right. be something you can just change yeah. and you don't want to, yeah. yeah. A simple, you know, there might be a few ideas you can salvage from an, an otherwise worthless one. Well, the saying, right, comes from, like, years ago again. Mm -hmm. And um, pre or post phone, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> ages and ages ago, when like you know the bloke worked in the house, you know he was like the coal man, and then you had like <laughs> no, it's important. Then then like the mum is like uh, you know she stays at home making the dinner, looking after the kids. Yep. yep. And uh, and you've got like the little kid who's just growing up, just messing about and stuff. So what happens is back then they didn't have like fresh flowing warm water every day. So all they could do, they could only afford to have like um, one one full big bath of fresh water, 
So they'd fill up the bath, right? And then the dad would come home and he'd say, oh, I've had a right, you know, I've had a tough day at work and that down the pit. And uh, his wife would say, it's all right, I'm putting the dinner on. You're going to mm. have a nice warm bath. So, because yeah. he, he gets the bath first. Because he, he gets the bath first because he's the grafter. And he's right? covered in coal. He's covered yeah. in coal, so the water's, like, minging by the time he's finished. Yeah. Right? And then the wife says, oh, after all my uh, cleaning the house and doing the cooking, I'm a bit sweating out. She's covered in dust and yeah. grime. She has I'll, the next I'll, one. I'll have a bath, right? Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the line, there's a little baby. Yeah, yeah. It's been playing out all day. Also got, like, little, uh, little grubby knees and stuff. Needs to have a bath. Yeah. It goes in the bath. Right, but because the water is so dirty, sure, they go and empty the water out of the window. Can't see the baby in it. <laughs> Chucking the baby out with the bath water. That's how it, that's where it comes from. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard this, I just, I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> what do you think, Steve? Steve. So, <laughs> so firstly, that 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 sort of, I mean. Oh. That doesn't explain where do you why... you start? Well, You're that... struggling, aren't you? You're struggling where to start. Well, first, I can't see how we've now applied this to, I've you know, been the thinking example of this, I've, I've been thinking of this for days, Steve, waiting for you to I hear mean, this one. These <laughs> coal mining parents yeah. did be negligent. Yeah. I, I love They've the left their baby because, in the bath, because unattended. It, that's the way round to do it. The one covered in coal... Yeah. Has you go bath. first. Sure. You go first. Don't wash the baby and then get in that. Yeah. You, you, one covered in coal goes first, yeah. that's the best idea. Yeah. Second most dirty one goes second, yeah. and then the clean little baby, yeah. I think I think we should do him last, because yeah. he's, he's done nothing well, towards no, this family. But, but more than that, Rick, leave him to his own devices. Yeah. Jack, I'm just going to throw the water out yeah. in the bath. Don't check have you, first. Have you checked that the baby's done that? No, I'm not even going to waste my time <laughs> You'd checking. See it. You'd see it. I'd be able to see You'd a baby. You'd see a baby in there. If a baby was in <laughs> here, yeah. I'd be able to see it. I'm yeah. just going to throw it out. Yeah, I'm not even going to look, to be honest, Jack. We've all had our bath. If the baby's in there, yeah. then it should be, be making careful, itself Jack, we have lost three children this way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Where did you read that? <laughs> New single from Supergrass, Grace on XFM 104.9. Coming up in the next hour, Carl Pimpleton's new game show. He's very excited about I'm this. I'm excited. I'm excited. We don't I know anything wait. about it, but, but it's going to be dynamite. He's told me it's going to be a winner. He's, you know, he said it's going to go to television. Sure. Uh, I'd need some adverts, though. Oh, I'd love to hear some adverts. Can we have just two or three minutes of adverts, please? <laughs> please. <laughs> Vines there, Steve. On XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl's getting very excited, as we all are, about his new... Should we... Should we let See. him do a little taster for us. Well, I'm very excited about it. I mean, so, I, well, so the gist of it, what is it? What is it exactly? Right. Is it a game show or is it a competition? It's just, um, just thought it's something that, you know, you can play and also people at home, uh, can take part in it. Now, would they phone in about this or they can just play at home while they're listening? They can just play at home. Okay. Um... You mean we haven't got any prizes? No, there isn't. No, I, I think we, we, could, we could get him to phone in, maybe. Well, I don't know. Let's hear the game idea yeah. first. Yeah. Right, it's, it's music related. Okay, good. And um, what I do is I sort of uh, tell a little story. Okay. And that story makes up a song title. All right. So, well, it right. sounds ambitious. So, um, is it a cryptic clue? Uh, could be. <laughs> uh, say, say like this, right? <laughs> oh dearie me! <laughs> oh dearie me! <laughs> say like this. Right. This, this woman, right? She's pregnant. Do you know the answer to this one? So don't be saying anything. Okay. This is just aimed at Steve. Okay. Right. This woman has a baby. Yeah. She's pregnant, has a baby. And the doctor's there in the, uh, in the hospital going, oh, yeah, you've got a, got a lovely little baby oh, here. Oh, you told me that this is... Oh, this guy. a lovely little baby. Oh. Um, it's just coming out now. You'll be able to see it in a minute. <laughs> and uh, it's, like, covered in gunk and stuff. Yeah. And uh, he's going, yeah, it's nearly here. It's coming out. I see, see it's a little head and that. And um, he gets hold of it and it's full of all this gunk. Right. The baby's full of gunk. Yeah, like the Covered in gunk or full of gunk? Covered in it. Right. And he goes, uh, here you go, get all your baby, and he drops it. Oops. Right. What, what song's that? There's so much irrelevance there, Steve, I can't tell you, it's not a cryptic clue, it's not a cryptic clue. Because only, uh, I mean, the gist of it is that, relevant. That isn't the best one. That's just... Right, I mean, there is just, there's, there's things there that you're pro dwelling on and thinking of puns, don't. Just go for gut instinct. What was it? What was that? Right, let me just, I just need to try and get the basics of this. There's a woman, she's pregnant, she has a baby. Yeah. The baby's covered in gunk. Yeah. Right. And because of the gunk, the doctor drops the baby. Yeah. <coughs> and that's all I need to know. Yeah, that is all you need to know. Yeah. 
The um, pregnancy is largely irrelevant. <laughs> okay, what it's, are the what are the, the key birth, elements? It's the birth and the doctor dropping it that the irrelevant. The, the, the irrelevant birth thing. and the dropping of the oh. baby. Yeah. Uh, I've, n I've absolutely no idea. I can't okay. even begin think, to guess. Think about what's happened here. Oh, Carl, She's had a baby, the doctor's trying to deliver it. He's saying it's a nice little baby you've got here. This is all irrelevant. <laughs> this is all irrelevant. Right, let me tell you this. So, so just to be fair to Steve, so he gets, he can get into your mind, right? This is not a traditional cryptic clue, <laughs> okay. logical problem or this is This is Carl, what song am I thinking of, right? <laughs> right. That is Underworld, Born Slippy. <laughs> <laughs> To say actually, that makes textbook sense. Yeah. yeah. No, that does actually. No, do you I'm like sorry. The, do you like all the story about the <laughs> good? Right, you can see it in them, and it always is covered in gunk. Yeah. No, I agree. There is some extraneous detail. Yeah, but I okay. have to say. Yeah. That born, born was good because it was. That, that's what that's the look of it. Was yeah. Born was good. Yeah. And I born slippy. I. Uh, no, I'm actually, I was quite impressed by that, Carl. I have to say, no, to be fair to you, I'm not just patronising you. Oh, well, I've got, oh, um, wow. I actually think that was really good, and I, I, I disrespect Ricky Gervais for slagging okay, that off, because okay. I actually think that, that was quite well, good. Well, let's go ahead with it, then. I, I, <laughs> on your I feel we could, we could maybe open this up to, uh, to email correspondence, or, okay, uh, or the phone Okay, let's go for it, then. Okay, this is Carl Pilkington's <laughs> new game show idea. It's what, one? it's, it's, uh, it's just what's the song. <laughs> well, it... <laughs> 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 Carl Pilkington presents What's the Song? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Carl Pilkington. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's, one, then. Let's, I'll tell you what, let's play a record. Let's, let's come well, back after Give that. out the number ready for him. Well, uh, you should make a note of this. Uh, you can email us. The email's up and running. ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Uh, what's the phone number, Carl? Have you it's 08700 800 1234. Okay. 08700... Eight hundred, one, two, three, four. Make a note of that, and we'll uh, we'll have a game of uh, what song is Carl thinking of after this next track. What do you want to play? What have um, you got lined up there? Oh, oh, continuing uh, again. Uh, uh, old fogies who were good once, and I won't hear a thing said against the new kids <laughs> yeah. out there. It's not all new metal, is it? True enough. This is uh, Cat Stevens, uh, a, a little-known album, Mona Bone Jack on, and this one's called Trouble. It's a lovely song. <laughs> Can't Cat <laughs> Stevens, Trouble, from Mona Bone Jack on, uh, on XFM 104.9, yeah. playing some new songs, playing some old songs. True enough, true enough. Playing some old games, some chit-chat, some tears, some laughter, and true. Carl Pilkington with his brand new show, What's <laughs> the Song? What song am I thinking now, of? Now, I, I'm, I, I mean... You're nervous about this, aren't you, Rick? I am. You're worried. Well, because I've heard some of these clues before. <laughs> and they're, they're ramblings... Offensive. They're sometimes, they're close to ramblings of a fool. <laughs> Right, <laughs> and it really is like those. What am I thinking? Yeah. Um, I don't know though. I actually was genuinely impressed by Born Slippy. I, I, I have to give him the best. That's of the one of the better ones because I because that was short, sweet, and it worked. Some of these that you say they're not going to be quite as pissy. Some of oh, them no. are like Emily Bronte novels. <laughs> um, now listen, we're just going to go for it then. You do it, and we will just get people to call up because I I want I want to see the general public's confusion Absolutely. trying to work out. <laughs> a well, why don't we? Uh, why don't we? Why don't you give us your your next clue? And then we'll play a track, and then we'll, we'll yeah. hopefully have people on the line after the track right. to try and answer it, and you can recap briefly. So give us your clue now for uh, what song am I thinking of. Right, this one, um, it's about a woman, and um, she's just normal, nothing wrong with her, or, or so she thinks, <laughs> right? <laughs> but there's the twist. <laughs> Is this like the Tales of the Unexpected? And she's got, like, you know, she's got a mates, and she's having a normal life, having a good time and that, and then this thing happens, right? And, er... Uh, she starts to stink, <laughs> and she can't have a bath, right? <laughs> and she really wants to have a bath. She's dead sweaty and stuff. She try to, she's going about her daily stuff. She can do everything else normal. She can eat, she can talk, everything. But for some reason, she can't have a bath. Is there a coal mining husband in the bath? <laughs> yeah. Is this born stinky? <laughs> <laughs> she can't have a bath. So a woman can't have a bath. Have a bath. Yeah. Is that it? Or life. a shower. Mm. She can't. Okay, and leave it there, Rick. Don't try and guess. Don't try and guess. guess. Um, the general public can phone up and ask questions, so I just, just I'm go for sure it. I'm not sure they can, can they? I, don't think, I they think so. Otherwise, we don't want just people just um, phoning well, up let's and getting it. I'll tell you what, what about this? Why don't they can ask one question? Yeah. They can ask one question of Carl, then they have to make a guess. Okay. 08700 800 Have oh, we got three, someone four. on the line now? We'll just, we'll just no, let's do it. Right, let's go for one. Let's go for one. This is edgy radio. Letting Carl live. Go on. Hello, XFM. Hello, I'm ringing about, um, what's the song? Absolutely, what do you think? Well, I'm going for Dirty Diana. Dirty Diana. See, that works. That's a great guess. It does, yeah, but it doesn't work, because Ooh. why can't she have a bath? Yeah, Okay, yeah. so well, the answer is in there. I was going to ask you. Well, well, that's your one that, question. That'd be the answer. 
That would be the answer, I'm afraid. What was your name? Shelley. Shelley, thanks very much. Shelley, I should, I should tell you that, you know, that you should never take this personally because no one can really get into the mind of Carl. So don't, <laughs> don't, you know, beat yourself up about this. I don't expect anyone to get these clues. No. So, um, so well done. That a is guess. a fine guess. A Thank, you. Guess. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else there? That's, that's, uh, hello, XFM. Who's that on the line? Um, it's Chris. Hello, Chris. Uh, a question for Carl? Before um, you I give us a hint? Like, uh, I haven't thought of a really good question or anything yet. You just want to go for the guess? Well, no, what I thought was, um, I'm sure Simon Mayo used to do this when he did a breakfast show on Radio <laughs> 1 years ago. No, he didn't. <laughs> so you just <laughs> pinched this <laughs> idea, Carl. You, you, if you're going to rip sure. someone off, Carl, do not rip off Simon Mayo. I haven't ripped this off. I thought this was a new idea. I was going to do it with sound effects instead, but that's... Yeah, a, that's he used a... to do that, and he used to get his team to play other characters. In the you story. idiot. Well, no, hang on. Oh. Not you, not you, Chris. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying you idiot to Carl. <laughs> yeah, but nothing's new anyway, is it? So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting annoyed about it. <laughs> what do you think the answer is? Um, is it Cornflake Girl by Tori Amos? Good answer. She couldn't have a bath because she'd go all... Floppy and then go down. <laughs> 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 so soggy. Yeah. So it's not. Is it called? Yeah, good answer, I guess. No, it's not. But that's, that's a uh, great answer. It could have been. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You're already seeing the error of this, aren't you? I think this like, is great radio. I'm I really hooked on this. I'm <laughs> genuinely excited. This about. is really <laughs> like that. Um, uh, those uh, so-called lateral thinkers. A man got into a field and dies. Why? Yeah. Um, yeah. He ran out of air. No, <laughs> yeah. not yeah, the one I'm yeah. thinking he was of. Shocked, yeah, no. yeah. 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 Like Simon Mayo, like sue you or something for doing it. Will you stop? Don't mention that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Listen, I think if you're going to steal ideas from someone, it should be a brain box like Mayo. <laughs> I mean, he's the man. Yeah, the only fun. example of one I can ever remember here on his show, because I was quite young then, was um, some people were pretending to like tap someone's phone or something, and then they got caught, and the answer was just bugging by whistle because they were genius. Uh, yeah. That was yeah. absolute genius. That's yeah. absolute genious. Chris, See, Carl, gonna, that's, that's the sort of standard you've got to come up against. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much, Chris. <laughs> the phone lines are hot. Hello, uh, 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 <laughs> Hi, is it Candy Perfume Girl? Is it what? Candy Perfume Girl. Candy Perfume Girl? Yeah. Ca candy Perfume Girl. Is it? Well, who's that by? Madonna. No, it's... That sounds like an obscure album track. No, it's, it's, it's one of their, one of her songs. Just well, think is about it. it. She, she stinks and everything. She's a normal life. She's... I didn't say she was a sweet or anything. Um, <laughs> but she, for some reason she can't have a bath or is a shower. Is this a big song, just to give him a clue? Is it's, a, it's a bigger song than uh, Candy Sweet Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for your guessing. Thank you. Cheers. Sorry. You know. Okay. Play, one, we... one more, then we we'll go yeah. to a record. Come right. on. Okay. Go on. Hello, it's a fan. Carl. Yeah. Is it high and dry by Radiohead? High and dry. High and dry. Now that's great. She smells, which is another word for high. She's dry because she doesn't have a shower. Carl, if it isn't that, <laughs> yours will never be as good as that. <laughs> He's the winner. Whatever you're thinking of, that clue is brilliant. What's your name, mate? It's Richie. Richard. Richard, uh, I mean, you can't beat that. That's a bit too lateral. Don't be stupid. <laughs> it's perfect. He's made yours into a clever clue. He's made... Hi, she smells. Dry, she never gets in the bath or shower. But I want it's to not the that, answer. is it, Carl? No, it's you not. don't even get that, do you? Not have really. You ever, have you ever heard of the word high being used to mean sort of smelly? No. No, no. Oh, what? But that was where you went wrong there, mate. <laughs> Richard, um, well, I'm declaring you the winner, even though that isn't the answer. I don't think Thank we you. should give up this earlier. Can we just... Uh, can, let's play a song. And, let's and play a song. Give it, give it one more chance, because yeah. if people think about it, it is really easy. So, I'm not going to find out the answer, though, because I've got to go out. <laughs> OK, we'll, we'll do it very quickly. Stay in for ten minutes. We're just going to play a new uh, okay. Coldplay track out. OK, let's do Coldplay, and then Cheers. we'll come back with this. Bye. You can't have a shower. Coldplay. Clean. One I love. That's for, um... Nick, Neil, Olivia in uh, Tower Bridge. Yeah, actually, and also Nikki from Bromley who emailed in. She's enjoying the show and she, uh, she wants a bit of That's the B side of the current the single. This is a great place. show, isn't it? We've got great music, we've great got music. laughs, uh, tears, we've got requests, we've got Simon Mayo games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a bit, it's just, it's just like Radio 1 for <laughs> less people. <laughs> exactly. Radio 1 for less people. Yeah. <laughs> this is great, isn't it? Um, so, so, go on, so listen, Carl, you were so excited about this game, weren't you, earlier? You, ca you came in with a but hop, skip and a leap in your, in your step. Although, I must say, the phones are going mental. We're going to have to take this some more no, calls. People I mean, call. high and dry is great. I mean, it works. <laughs> That's it. Can we have a very quick... Just uh, a recap in case someone's yeah. just yeah. Quick can recap. you make it? Can you make it so high and dry doesn't work now? Give us a bit of information that makes it different to high and dry. Or can't so you So for those that have just that? tuned in, Carl describes, in a roundabout way, a story which somehow is representative of a song. Is a that song right? title? A song title. Yeah. Okay. So um, this a woman, title. she's 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 all right. You know, she has a normal life. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> kind what does of. That mean? Yeah. 
Um, there's probably a few things actually that she can't do thinking about it. <laughs> 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 but the main it's problem would be <laughs> having, a, having a wash or having a bath or having a shower. Yeah. Maybe going for a swim thinking about it. <laughs> Right. Oh, so I think water is the clue, isn't it? That's the clue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds like. All right, so fair uh, who's that on the line? Hi there, it's Mark. Hello, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, what do you think? It smells like Teen Spirit, Nirvana. No, it's not. That's a great guess. Smells like Teen oh, Spirit no. again. It's also no. brilliant. Thank you, Mark. Well no, done. No, it's not that. All right. Hello, XFM. Oh, that's that's oh. that's a dodgy mobile. Oh, that's a bit of a clue. A dodgy Hello, mobile. XFM. Oh, they've just given up. They, they've all been going for Smells Like Teen Spirit. Yeah. They just hung up. Hello, XFM. Uh, hi. Is it um, She's Electric? Excellent. She's electric, it makes sense. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, wait, so oh, she's okay. electric. I, I electricity, actually. Why does she smell? Yeah. Because she doesn't have a bath on that. But it's Because like, she can't have a bath or a shower. What's, what's your name? Neil. Neil so, does that, so... Oh, Neil got God. it, so... Did you get it straight away? Uh, no, I only uh, joined the song. A process of elimination from all the other wrong answers. Yeah, basically. So... She's electric. Rick, I have to say, you, you're holding your head in hand, in oh. your hands, and it looks like you want to shoot off. But I have to say, I thought that was quite good. She's I genuinely thought that was quite good. But it's not a cryptic clue, <laughs> is it? Because not she the smells. Are there two things you can't do. She's yeah. electric. Yeah, but do you understand what what I'm getting at? <laughs> She's electric. She's I always understand what you're getting at, Carl. That's never been a problem in the you know the years I've known you. Neil got it. Yeah. She's I electric. have to say, Rick, I think you're down on this idea. I could definitely see that. ITV1 replacing Get Me, um, Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Carl Pilkerton hosting. <laughs> Simon Mayo yeah. on the phone. <laughs> exactly. To the lawyers. <laughs> well, uh, well, Neil, there's no prizes or anything, but well done. <laughs> well done, that was well worth it. Right. Well, you go away with the award in the knowledge that you've beaten Carl. Yeah. You can get, secure in the knowledge that you thought <laughs> how Carl does. <laughs> Absolutely. Well done, Neil. Okay. I have to say, I, I think you're being harsh on him. I think that's, okay. a, that's a great game. All right, let's do it again next week. Then. I thought that was a great game. Yeah. Brilliant. Well play, done, record. Carl. play record. Play oh, record. Nice. Uh, what do you want to play? <laughs> oh, you know, I tell you, uh, we've been playing some oldies, Rick, and I've enjoyed them all. But I think I've been in love with this song for many, many years. And when I saw it, reminded of it in Con Air, the film Con Air. Remember, they stick it on in Con Air, and it's just dynamite. Leonard Skinner. I, I love this. Sweet, Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> Leonard Skinner. Okay. <laughs> yes. Strange and beautiful aqua lung, or as Carl says, aqua lung. <laughs> On XFM 104.9. Well, it seems that Carl's clue, um, you know, did go down quite well. Some other people got it. Uh, the game show as a whole has been well received. Well, I have to say the uh, the email. You know, we've had we've had loads of emails, Rick. Yeah. You know, I mean, we've had. Uh, let me just count two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, one of them was aimed at uh, Simon Mayo. Okay, that was my mistake. Uh, they yeah, thought they were it. listening to Mayo. Yeah. And the yeah. other is uh, saying Carl enough that they love the game show. Radio One with less people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. And uh, so, despite the fact it was a stolen idea, I think we yeah. should do it again next week. Just and like next week, let's let's rustle up some prizes as well. You're just like your little magpie, aren't you? Thieving shiny <laughs> ideas <laughs> <laughs> from Mayo's nest. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so anyway, we played Lillard Skinner just before the ads, and I was just looking at the compilation it comes from. It's a great compilation. We took this from uh, Driving Rock. Yeah. Uh, which I imagine... This is not is available in the shops. <laughs> exactly. Um, I imagine it's come straight from the personal collection of uh, maybe Taron or uh, Foxy. Or Canfield. But there's some great names on here that I'd like to see. Maybe we could He's play them. He's a little them. Vance, isn't he? He's a tiny <laughs> Vance. Exactly. So, you know, you're a little mayo. Canfield's a little Vance. I mean, these are some names. Just Go don't, on. I haven't heard them for a long time. Go I'd on. love to hear them again. Go Alana on. Miles. Hmm. Black Phil, No, rubbish. Rhea. You don't hear Rhea, no? Chris, Chris Rhea. Rhea. Yeah. Well, what one? Spin Doctors. Oh, God. Lest we forget the Spin Doctors. God. Crash Test Dummies. Mm. What happened mm. to them? Don't know. Uh, who else we got on here? Richard Marks. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Big. I didn't. He's guilty in that song when he goes, I swear I did. And all that. And the police came around. Well, there's no smoke without fire. I reckon he did it. <laughs> <laughs> I, reckon he, I reckon he murdered her. You're absolutely right. Go on. <laughs> Legs, ZZ Top. <laughs> She knows how to use them. <laughs> she does she indeed. She knows how to... It's what it is. It's electrical impulse from the brain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, what, the, how is she using them? What's she's she just, up to? She's just, um, it's, you know... The brothers do beer on her as well. Oh, isn't that... There's nothing wrong with them. No, absolutely not. Starship. 
Yeah. And uh, Toto as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not actually. What is it? Can you name another Toto track? Hold the line. <coughs> it's hold the line. Let's hold rock. It. Put that on. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good stuff. Down. Uh, 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 <laughs> is it good stuff? <laughs> when session musicians get together. <laughs> Oh, Can we hear a quick little blast? Oh, it be, is, that, is that disc oh, still play in there? a little bit, hold the line. It's that great. Should be, uh, that should be track. Uh, oh, let me see. No. That's probably track ten. <laughs> I hope this doesn't annoy too many people. <laughs> like we're worried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We like to give our radio slick. <laughs> is this it? This is not it. Yeah. Wake up a minute. Yeah. Uh, that was dynamite. That was great. We'll yeah. have some. I think we should have like a classic rock anthem every week. I, oh, do you not I'd, think? I'd, I mean, I'd love that. to. I'd love to. Bit of rainbow maybe next week. Oh, Who knows? Man alive! Phone in if you want to hear some classic rock. <laughs> classic rock, indeed. Oh, we ripped off Mayo. Let's do Vans. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Let's just uh, steal ideas from other better DJs. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, what, what can well, we have? There's some great ideas out there. I'm sure. I, I mean, if you if you want to like any fix, it's done. <laughs> if you may want to eat a packed yeah. lunch on a roller coaster. On a roller coaster, yeah, with some Boy Scouts or or dance with banana rama yeah then, then yeah. We're, we're, yeah. We're, yeah or five star <laughs> yeah, yeah. i love the fact five star <laughs> reform there's three of them white stripes on xfm 104.9 <laughs> i'm ricky gervais with me steve merchant Hello. and carl pilkington well, I had a good time. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been nice. It's some, been fun. Some good tracks, some some laughs, a new uh, competition by yeah. Simon Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, absolutely. That was great. Yeah, yeah. Ka Carl, have you heard um, the big news? That uh, Ricky Gervais is uh, looking to take up. Um, well, you explain it, Gervais, because oh, I'm not. Oh, it's not I'm big not, news. No. I, what are you talking? What do you mean? You, 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 you want, you're taking up boxing, is this right? N no. What is the story? You want to right. fighting for money? No. What is <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah, bare knuckle fighting. No, come on. What is it? No. Oh, all it is, I've been watching this um, show on cable called Born to Fight, and it's sort of, sort of right. late. It's a late <laughs> one. We flick around, and, and I think it's uh, on the After Roadies, which is like. Roadies? A, yeah, it's a bloke, one bloke with a camera who goes on tour with different people. Like He went on with Motorhead, he went with, uh, with a meatloaf um, uh, uh, tribute act, he went on with Coldplay, was in one of them. It's just, uh, and it's the is sort this of this when like, all the other channels have been switched off. Yeah, this yeah, is the only yeah one left. exactly, yeah. yeah. And there's one uh, called Born to Fight. And uh, they just uh, take a different story. It might be like, an amateur fight, or it might be um, an unlicensed fight, not illegal, yeah. um, or it might be white collar, which I'm thinking of doing. What's what's white collar? White collar is just people who want to fight, and uh, it's organised. Is it like a fight club? Yes, yeah, but it's charity. It, it's safe. It's 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 a charity do. You know, having like big events, and it's just two people that you know aren't boxers, aren't amateur boxers, and they get in the ring. And they do three three um, two minute rounds, and they just lay into each other. They've got head guards on. And, uh, Rick, I don't mean to alarm you, but um, you know we work together, obviously, and, and we make the office and stuff. Your face is my fortune. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have that it must being, be a bit of a worry for it you. It is. I'm not going to say. Well, your heart as well is also a concern. Yeah. You know, and you're eating and stuff. But so when I said well, I was, no, was, no, was, was going to get fit, you were going, "No, Gervais, you're only funny because you're fat." No, I agree. <laughs> this is true. But I'm saying there's a there's a difference between being fit. Yeah. And um, and I would say, Getting for instance, don't eat. In. Well, don't eat. Um, don't eat. Kind of, you know, uh, cheese and bacon. You know, on their own <laughs> all day, all day, all right. for breakfast. So what I'm saying is, there's yeah. a difference between you know exercising and then having yeah. your face beaten in. And yeah. what I'm saying is that you, it, I just don't think it's a good idea. But I might win. No, the pro well, I don't. You, it, that's 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 irrelevant. You're still going to take a couple of blows to the face. And the point is this, Rick. You're not going to win. <laughs> Why? Because, no, because you are delusional. You think that you are probably the world's greatest boxer. <laughs> you are, I know, ever since I've known you, you seem to think that this is the case because you've watched all the Rocky films. <laughs> and you think that's fair enough. That seems straightforward enough. But look at your physique. You know, yeah, you've got some upper body strength, but yeah. you know. You've You've also got some upper, some <laughs> lower belly strength as well. I <laughs> and um, and my concern is, you're going to go in there, and you're not only going to be a broken man when you realise that you're just not as handy in the ring as you thought you were. Yeah. But also, you're going to you're going to incur some interest. This you is wear fighting masks? talk. This is fighting talk. The first thing the fight want, club is don't this, talk about fight club. This one's we want to do it more now, just because of you. It was the same when Adrian didn't agree that Rocky could beat right. Clever yeah. Lang. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she, she made that mistake, then she made the same mistake at with, what with age, Drago. Rick? At what age? She turns up at the end to take a bit of the credit, didn't she? When you were this kind of thin, nimble youth in yeah. your makeup and your eyeliner and all the rest of yeah. it, you, I bet you had, no, you had no thoughts about boxing. It never came into your mind, did it? So at what age did you suddenly think, wait a minute, I've taken the wrong path in life. I could have been the world <laughs> I heavyweight. Don't, I don't think I could. 
When are you? When have you suddenly decided that you can you you can suddenly be a bit street tough? I don't understand why this has suddenly come about. In, well, I'm not in putting out life. a shout, am I, to fight people? It's not. I've not. It's not like Noel but Gallagher you've got and Robbie some, Williams. But you've got to find someone else, presumably, to fight with. Yeah, but it'd probably be a businessman who wants a fight. Right. Do you know there's something really weird about that? Don't you think that sound? Have you just listened to yourself? I want to fight another. Bi I want to fight a businessman. <laughs> Please, may I fight a businessman? I don't want to fight a businessman. <laughs> you you just want, said I want to fight someone who wants to. It's, you know, I mean, it's not. I want to fight them though. <laughs> I want to fight somebody. <laughs> Since you were like, it sounds a bit mad. Bring yeah. them on! I want to fight people. No, but it's more that it's more the effort and the training, the commitment to it, like climbing a mountain. I mean, I think climbing a mountain and doing a marathon is ridiculously macho. It's not the fact that you can. No, do that's it and not go, macho. Compared well, it is boxing. macho, isn't it? Climbing, there's no reason to climb a mountain, there's no reason to do a marathon. If you can run a mile, that's all you need. The fact that you train is whether you can do it yourself and achieve something. And this is more <coughs> like the training and the learning uh, skill and then seeing if it works. I, I don't want to get in there. To, but aren't you concerned about you might get beaten? Or you might get beaten up, I should say. No, what's the worst that can happen? Uh, it was You'll get black eyes, bruises, and you... Yeah. Bruises, bruises, <laughs> Jamaica, heal. let me just remind you of the what? time we were working in your flat, <laughs> right? <laughs> and you immediately... <laughs> Right, I think, I don't know to this day what happened, but you started choking, you clasped your chest, you were breathing, wheezing, right, I leapt over to you, I remember screaming, I don't know the Heimlich manoeuvre, yeah. if you've swallowed something I can't help, yeah. you gained your breath, you gained your composure, yeah, I said, yeah. what happened, did you eat something, did you go down the wrong way, you said, no, I swallowed some dust. <laughs> I swallowed some dust. You breathed some dust in that was in the air. There was some dust in the air. You breathed that in. It knocked you out for two days. <laughs> Rick, you're in bed for two yeah, days. I love that. I don't I, think you. I don't I think you're the man for the job. And that's some dust. What do you think this businessman's gonna do? Exactly. Who'd be permanent? Hurt your permanent. Yeah. He'll hurt your permanent. You found a lump in you on your testicle once. We sat in a uh, <laughs> doctor's waiting room. I remember for about forty-five minutes. You've got. Minutes. I haven't checked out. It was fine. I think I went twice, didn't my I? Point, yeah. My I point. said to the doctor at one point. I said, "Did you check round the back?" Yeah. I was thinking he hadn't checked it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. My, just because they hadn't found anything. My point is this. Oh. You're something of hypochondriac. You know <laughs> you're something of hypochondriac. You know that already. So, uh, why do you think this is going to be any different? Wow. If you take a, when you take the first blow to the head, you take the punch, you'll immediately <laughs> think that you've got some kind of, you know, brain disorder. No, I've always, you'll be I've done always wanted to do it, but I just up. thought, I talent. just, I wanted to make sure, I wanted to know that I definitely lost my looks. Right. And, um, I've seen some of the publicity shots, I've got mirrors and mouths, so now, because I've definitely lost my looks now, I've got nothing to lose. Yeah. So I want, you know, maybe a younger, more handsome man, I want to teach him a lesson. <laughs> Let me just, I'll end with this. <laughs> right. For people who listen to this show regularly, yeah. you already sound like you're punch drunk. <laughs> All right? And that's just your natural way of talking. Please, let's not do the real thing. Oh, play a record. Oh. I mean, is it going to be televised? Uh, it, well, we could get it on DVD, maybe release All right, it. Oh, now I'm interested. Okay. Is there money to be made? Yeah, lots of oh, money. Well, maybe we should talk about it. Okay. <laughs> On XFM 104.9. You join us now live at uh, Shippey Old People's Home, <laughs> where uh, TV star Ricky Gervais <laughs> is taking on his first uh, non-professional bout. Yeah. Um, Ricky, who are you fighting this evening? Uh, a bloke called Pete Smedley. <laughs> okay, Pete Smedley. How old is Pete? He's 72. <laughs> 72 years old. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, you're very excited about the fight, I know. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, Pete's yeah. just recovered from a massive coronary, hasn't he? Well, I don't want to get into that. He's deemed himself fit, and okay. uh, that, that's good enough for me. <laughs> if, he, if he wants to fight. Listen, right, someone just called up and said, uh, they're fighting me. He sounded this is such pretty, a bad idea. pretty tasty. I said, how, how tall are you? He said, 5 foot 11. I said, what do you weigh? He said, 13 stone. I said, how old are you? 27. Mm. I explained to him I'm looking for someone a lot older and smaller. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, lot older and smaller than Donna Stell. <laughs> <laughs> if Donna yeah. Stell from, uh, what was it? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm going to show you now, Steve. Listen, yeah. no, it's just a sport. You know, mm. people go, oh, don't go into badminton. The shuttlecock can hurt your eye. <laughs> it's just a sport. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll, 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 I'm sure resume this conversation next week. Yeah. When, of course, we'll also be playing more of uh, Carl's new brilliant game with prizes, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Simon Mayo's What Is Carl Thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I, I'll leave you with a song for uh, the ladies, Rick, if I may. Yeah. Uh, this is by my, my friend uh, Harry, you may know, he sends me tr uh, tracks every so often that I should yeah. listen to, and uh, this is a particular favourite of mine. Pretty Please, in, it's by Kevin Tahista's Red Terror. I don't know if I've pronounced that right. <laughs> but enjoy that, and we'll uh, see you next week. Let's get ready to rumble. Hmm? <laughs> So obviously the the uh, well, the uh, the big thing in this episode is Carl's quiz. Now, I was sort of 
I sort of half got what he meant because I was thinking maybe she was on fire. I was thinking like she's on fire or something like that. For some reason, I didn't think she's electric. I, I think it's just not... Uh, I mean, good, you know. I, I'm actually looking forward to the next one. But, but... <laughs> there's something to be said about these... The, the abundance of unnecessary clues in his clues. Like, what? It's like, oh, she, she was a woman. She, she's an average. Well, she's not average. She's electric. How can she be average? You know? She's an average woman. There's nothing wrong with her. What do you mean? You know? It's like, like it, it takes you to, to a million different places. And and then it's like, oh, she can't take a... She can't uh, take a bath or a shower. She can't have a swim. It's like, well... Uh, if she stinks, you know, like Ricky said, it's like uh, he's he's fifty percent, you know, uh, it's like half, ha half a good clue, I think, half a good quest. I'm I'm, I'm really, <laughs> I, I'm really anticipating, you know, like, I I can't wait, I can't wait for for the next one to be honest, because I know by now how Carl's brain works, and I know. Is gonna be more of the same. I know he's gonna give us clues, you know, that are not clues. It must be. Like when he was on the phone with this guy. <laughs> was it looks at something like uh, uh, what was it? Was it smells like teen spirit? Or was it something something else? He said, That's a good clue. It's like based on what? <laughs> you know, it's like it doesn't what no. Uh, whatever. Well, uh, and and then okay. I I mean, I, I think that to me is. I've noticed there's a lot of good music in this episode. I don't know. Maybe they have, maybe they have uh, found their passion for old music. <laughs> you know, I'm noticing, but but Iggy Pop, that, that that is really going back. Uh, but. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I can take from this episode is Carl's quiz. And the fact that there's more coming makes me happy. But I hope there are no more calls. These call ins are just not, you know. It's just not what I. I don't know. So it's, it's like people, these people that I don't know, just calling in and. and just, I don't know, it just changes the, the tone of, of the show. So this is not that type of show. This is not a call in show. There's no way you can compete with, with, with any of what these three are saying or doing, you know? So it's like, uh, you get a caller and he's like just a normal person like me. <laughs> you're just a normal person talking. It's like, well, why? Why am I watching? Why am I listening to a, to a normal person speak on this show in which supposedly nothing is normal, you know? Uh, but yeah. Clues. Okay quiz song titles okay I'm looking forward to more of those for now <laughs>